This is Blake Clark at Sportsman's Paradise. This is the video on how to have your dog not pull anymore. As you can kind of see, the dog is kind of pulling wherever he wants, and I'm yanking him quite a bit. The thing that we talked about in the newsletter is we have a hook to the collar, put it right over the back, put it around underneath, and then just loop it back right there, just back on the back part of the dog. So what happens is when you pull on the dog, it tightens up, and then when you let go, you loosen up. So if the dog, come on, if the dog starts to pull, you can pull on him, and then as soon as you pull on him, you want to let loose. If the line is loose, the dog thinks he's doing that under his own control. But if you have it tight all the time, the dog knows that you're holding him there. So keep it loose after you tug on him, and you might have to do it for 10 or 15 times. Instead of a a big rope like this, I would use a twine, piece of twine, because it's real light. Um, you could just put a, a loop around your dog's head, a slip knot. It won't choke him or anything because it tightens up back here, not on his neck. If you use twine, the dog doesn't feel anything across his back. And that's all it is, just loop it around. Here, sit up, sit up. Sit. Sometimes it'll inch up a little bit, but just scoot it back all the time. And as you're walking, come on, let's go, let's go. You can just give a little bit of a... A quick jerk like that. If you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, my cell number is 208-390-7284, and I can help you out a little bit more on that.